the visiting vehicle officer uh, reporting uh, that the search and recovery forces are in direct communications uh, with the Soyuz vehicle. And there is a live picture from the landing site in Kazakhstan of the uh, Soyuz uh, TMA-20 under its main chute heading for a bullseye landing on the steppe of Kazakhstan, some 147 kilometers southeast of Jezkazgan. The crew is reporting that they are feeling well, just seven and a half minutes from touchdown. Courtesy of the Russian Federal Space Agency, live video of Dmitry Kondratiev, Katie Coleman, Paolo Nespoli descending gently under their main chute to uh, their landing site in south central Kazakhstan, touchdown about six minutes away. Clear skies, balmy temperatures around 70 degrees to greet the trio following 159 days in space. In the uh, descent module in the center seat, Soyuz Commander Dmitry Kondratiev, uh, flanked by Paolo Nespoli of the European Space Agency and Katie Coleman of NASA, just minutes away now from completing their journey that began on December 15th with their launch from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. Remarkable live views of the Soyuz in its descent under its main chute. All of the Russian helicopters uh, in place, ready to touch down in sequential fashion after the Soyuz has landed to begin the process of erecting an inflatable medical tent and extracting the crew into reclining chairs nearby the capsule. As the trio of uh, space travelers uh, begin a uh, short acclimation to a gravity environment. There you can see one of the uh, Russian Mi-8 helicopters uh, circling in the neighborhood of the Soyuz spacecraft a well distance away. If this view continues, uh, we should get a good view of the soft landing engines firing just a few feet above the ground to uh, provide one final braking maneuver and enable the uh, Soyuz uh, to gently touch down. The altimeter on the base of the Soyuz uh, provides uh, altitude information that uh, causes the uh, contoured Soyuz seat liners to inflate to provide an extra cushion against the backs of the three crew members in the descent module right before the impact of touchdown.
Another one of the uh, dozen Russian Mi-8 helicopters uh, getting its own bird's eye view, as you can see uh, them circling uh, the Soyuz uh, landing pattern as it approaches uh, the landing zone. Touchdown is about two minutes away. The helicopters uh, were deployed both from Jezkazgan and Karaganda, which is the staging site. It is in Karaganda that the three crew members will be returned to. It's about a two-hour helicopter ride uh, to the landing site that the Soyuz is descending to. The three crew members will be placed in their own individual helicopters, accompanied by Russian uh, nurses and uh, their own flight surgeons, as well as uh, NASA and European Space Agency and Russian Federal Space Agency personnel. Uh, for the trip back to Karaganda, a traditional Kazakh welcoming ceremony, Nespoli and Coleman will board a NASA plane uh, to fly back to Houston. Kondratiev will board a Gagarin Cosmonaut Training Center aircraft to fly back to Chukalovsky Airfield outside of Star City. In stark contrast to the wintry conditions that greeted Scott Kelly and the Expedition 26 crew about two months ago, a clear day out on the steppe of Kazakhstan, temperatures around 70 degrees. Nearing the landing site now for touchdown. Touchdown now confirmed. The unofficial touchdown time, 9.27 p.m. Central Time, 8.27 a.m. Kazakhstan Time. You saw the uh, descent, the final descent under the chutes almost all the way down to the ground. Uh, and the first of the dozen search and recovery helicopters has also landed. That is the helicopter uh, with uh, on-scene uh, television equipment and the uh, RSC Energia personnel that will begin the quick process of erecting an inflatable medical tent nearby. We should be uh, reacquiring a television signal a short time from now.